Igloo cooler fix, y'all. See that right there? I've had this cooler about three years. This just broke like probably two days ago. This one's been broke for two years. All right, I'm gonna show you how to fix it cheap and easy. And hey, Igloo was very, very nice to me. I called customer support. They said they'd send me some new straps here free of charge because the IMX 70 has got a uh, five year warranty on it. I've had it probably three years and uh, I didn't have a proof of purchase. So you get under here, y'all see that dial indicator there. You got to send that, a picture of that and a picture of what's broke right here. And uh, they'll send you your parts. Well, I emailed her back and I sent her all that information and uh, she told me that uh, these was out of stock and uh, but they will send us some as soon as they get some in stock. Well, I need some yesterday. So uh, I'm going to show you how you fix that and uh, it's not going to take long. It's not hard. It's super cheap. Really cheap actually. Uh, and you can keep them on there till you get your new uh, new straps on here, or they come in the mail. So let's get to it. All right, guys. First thing you want to do, there's a little pin in here. You just want to take a little screwdriver like that, little straight edge, kind of pull on it. Uh, if it don't come out real easy, you can take your pair of channel locks, just kind of pull on it. You don't pull it all the way out. Remove. The, uh, the rubber strap. You can do the same on the other side. If you can't get a grip on it, take your little straight edge, kind of just pull. They just pull right out, y'all. They're just little pins. They've got it uh, grooved right there. And you mechanics out there, sort of looks like a door hinge bushing. Or not bushing, but door hand pin. You just undo that. All right, let me show you the next step. Right, guys, we're gonna measure. We're gonna measure from the center of the pin down to the bottom right here. That's roughly four inches. This ain't gotta be science. Four inches. And then we got 14 inches to right here from that edge to this edge. And then we know got four. So you got four, four, and 14. That's 22 inches. All right. Remember that number. All right, guys, that's 22 inches. All right, here's what we're going to do. This is cheap, very cheap. Anybody can do this. All right, we're going to measure across here. 22 inches exactly from the end here to the end here. 22 inches. Perfect. All right, next thing we wanna do is they've got a little hook on each end. This is just a ru rubber bungee cord. You might have to use two pairs of pliers on it. And you just wanna pull it and separate it apart right there. And you're gonna take this hook out of it. You're gonna do both sides that way, y'all. Hook and pull. It. Pull it right out. All right, here's what we got. We got us a strap with two holes in it. All right, let me show you what we're going to do next. All right. Remember that other measurement we had from right here to right there was uh, 14 inches. Y'all see that? 14 inches. All right, what we want to do is I took a stole piece of black garden hose and I sliced it down the center here because this hose is not going to go through that hole. So this is what I done. This um, this hose actually show you what it is. 
is exactly 16, 16 inches. This was 14, so we're gonna come up an inch, an inch on both sides here. All right. All you wanna do is like I said, I slice it all the way down through here where it's open. Cause that bungee cord or uh, rubber tie strap would not go through there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread it open a little bit and run, run that strap down through there, all right? Like that right there. Now what we wanna do is we wanna get this kinda even on both sides. All right. All right, she's looking good. And the reason why, well, I'll show you here in a second, the reason why we wanna, uh, we wanna use this uh, rubber garden hose. All right, now what we're gonna do See if y'all can see that. Sun is all in my eyes. All right. Next thing we want to do is we're going to take that pin and we're going to work it back through that rubber hose right there. Don't go all the way through because you don't want to lose it here. All right. Now we're going to do the other side that way. We're going to push it through. It might be a little bit tired. It, it's all right. That hole's perfect for this. All right. And then we're just going to push it through or give it, a, give it a good tap, whatever you got. Pull that hose back over this way. Do the same to this. Push it on in there. There we go. Kind of push down on it a little bit. All right. There you go, y'all. Now, what I am gonna do for these little tie straps, I'm gonna strap four of them on here and we're gonna cut them off, but I want them to stay, keep that plastic, or not plastic, but that rubber hose from coming off there, y'all. Right here on the end. Well, that wasn't worth crap. Do no. Probably these are probably old tie straps, but anyway, or I'm just that strong. All right, there you go. We'll trim those off. But now you just throw your lid down, pull your strap around it. Look here, y'all. It ain't coming up. Pull it up, there you go. Cheap fix. This thing right here keeps from, uh, that rubber on rubber, keeps it from sliding off. It ain't gonna blow up, it ain't gonna go nowhere. But hey. <laughs> There's your cheap cooler fix, y'all. Like and subscribe, we'll catch you on next video.